How do you feel it's gone in England uh, in general since the Olympics? Can you feel the, the, the positive elements of benefits of legacy? Oh, you can certainly feel the positive benefits of the Games everywhere you go. I mean, the, the simple numbers are very solid. Uh, 750,000 more people playing sport in the last year. Since the Games, about 350,000, 400,000 of them, and a lot, in, a lot of them young people. Uh, we've seen the impact that uh, the volunteering has had. Uh, we've seen certainly the impact that British business has had in, uh, in global sport. We're in a city where British businesses have probably gained about £100 million worth of contracts. Sochi, the Winter Games in just less than a year's time, probably between 70 and 80 contracts. So it's, it's, it's working very, very well. But this is a 10-year journey. This isn't going to happen overnight. You know, the Games is a 20-year journey. It's 10 years from the bid to the delivery of the Games. It's then another 10 years to really maximise every benefit that you possibly can from the legacy of the Games. And for you, you were so involved in the bid and the whole process that you're so wrapped up in it. It was your life. How has it been in that period since then, six months well, or so? It's been busy because I'm now the chairman of the British Olympic Association, and that's a, that's a wonderful job, and that gives me a slightly different focus to think about and we've got teams to get to Sochi and to Rio in this city in four years time and I'm also working uh, within well for, for the Prime Minister as his legacy ambassador so there are lots of those issues as well to be focused on so the Olympic world is still very much alive and well in, 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 in my own sphere. And just finally this week the report on school uh, sports in schools is going to be out and it, it's going to we understand criticise the level of involvement in primary schools. Is there still more that can be done and can the Olympics really be a catalyst for that? Well, there is going to be an announcement quite soon about uh, an approach to, uh, to school sport, particularly at primary school level. You'll have to wait for the report to, uh, you'll have to wait for the announcement, but I think it'll be a very positive step forward. And you are happy the way it's progressing with kids in schools? You, you think we are becoming a more sporting nation? We, have cert we are certainly a more sporting nation. If you look at the response since the Games, if you look at the way clubs are now attracting many more young people, actually some of those clubs have now got waiting lists, so that in itself is a challenge, but this is a good story. But it is very, very early on. You know, we're talking about something that has had an impact over the first 24, 25 weeks. This is a 10-year journey. And just finally, Seb, what's been the overwhelming feeling? What's, what have people said to you since the Games? That, you know, that, that they had the time of their lives. Uh, if they were in the venues and they were in London, they remember the extraordinary camaraderie and friendship. If they were watching at home, they were often watching with friends in communities that had Olympians and Paralympians representing them. So it's, it's lovely, it's been fantastic to sort of walk around London and to, to be on my legacy job and, and work within the British Olympic Association, people just talking about the extraordinary impact that they think the Games has had on their lives.